throughout his career. So now to return the peninsula here downtown Charleston, man, this is kind of the dream job, right? First play from scrimmage, Corey Ibrahim gets the carry, a pick of about three yards. As the Citadel fans packing the house here at Buccaneer Field. Another carry for the Bulldogs. Be brought down, that's good for a first. Move the chains, pretty efficient start to 2024, Jack. Well, that might be the Citadel of all, right? When you look at the record of the Bulldogs just a year ago, right? Two moving tight ends run right behind the gaps. He was three yards in a pile of dust for a long time. He looked a lot more comfortable offensively. Ibrahim again with the handoff. Gonna get stuffed and actually lose a yard. Wide, allowed him to ease himself in this game because you're right, the 50 yard box is coming. Ibrahim again on the carry and again is met right at the line of scrimmage. Brought down by a swarm of Buccaneers. Looks like David Porto was in there first, brings up third and long. Charleston Southern lined up with that three. Bennett with his first pass under pressure, able to escape it. Moves his feet and eventually throws a six for the Bulldogs around midfield. Bennett unloads one, finds Tyler Cherry, and he is brought down in Buccaneer territory. Big pickup there for the graduate. So fresh set of downs for the Bulldogs. And it's going to give to Ibrahim, and he has swallowed up immediately Darius Bell in there. Attack. Omari Jenkins, the Timberland grad, also in there on that tackle. Officially goes down as no gain. Then it's Ibrahim, and Ibrahim able to find a seam from Bayern. Right? He has built a culture of resilience, and I know it's just the first quarter, but you love to see them respond in this manner early. Third down, Bennett going to try it again. Ball sails just to kick Ben Barnes. Kick is up, and it is no good. Punted it away as Gilbert Brown intended for Braylon Knopf. That will sail out of bounds about the 25-yard line as the Citadel offense comes back up. He's done here at Charleston Southern in year number two. The Blue Swarm, as they call it here in the Low Country. Bennett again gives it to Crawford and the ball. Actually, that's a helmet that popped off. That was a ball at first. Hat on hat. Thomas Wise going to have to make his way to the sideline. No fear, and I love it. That's a good goal. Sit on the face with the third and long. Bennett feeling the pressure. Oh. Ball is up. Sails out of bounds, but Bennett took a shot from behind. Big pull there by number 58, Steve Zajakowski. This staff has raved about Zajakowski. Watch him on the backside. Blindside never picks him up. And he lays the boom on Jonathan Bennett. Timely. This sophomore has reminded so many of Big South first teamer Garrett Sag from just a couple of years ago. Right, a little bit of an undersized middle linebacker. So instinctful. Great play on the outside. James Platt punts it away. Leon Thomas sets her because he can play him in coverage. Drop back, blitz the quarterback. It always seems to be in the right spot at the right time. Citadel with all three timeouts. Carry to Ibrahim. We have a flag on the play, though. It's getting a little chippy at the bottom of your screen. But again, stops the clock for the civil. Replay the down. Let's see if they allow Jonathan Bennett to throw the ball back downfield that we saw in that first drive. Bennett's going to step up. Takes off in the middle of the field. Lunges forward for the first down. And the Bulldogs are in business. Trying to get some points here and not go into the halftime locker room with a zero on the board. First down. Jonathan Bennett steps up in the pocket. Almost lost the football. Picks up about five as the clock continues to tick. David Porto trips him up.
Bennett towards the sideline, has a man, and he hauls it in. That's his head. A dime from 11. The handoff to Ibrahim. He gets tripped up after a gain of four. And I'm sure to get both feet in. And Paul Camp, backup receiver behind Pez now. Very talented Citadel offense just waiting to break open. Second and six from the 31 yard line, 119 to go here. Bennett steps up, has a man knocked away. Grayson Fowler, also a tough spot right there where the sun is still shining on Buccaneer Field. Important to note, too, you're looking at about a 47-yarder, and only this one from there is this four-down territory. Buccaneers bring the blitz. Bennett towards the sideline. Goal here. Arm strength, next level. Right now, to be a shorter kick. It's going to be fielded. Couple of shifty, shaking, big moves finally brought down. That's Tyson Greenway. Able to make those shake and big moves because the huge block on the outside. We said his name once tonight, number 58. Seems like Kowski. Seems about that outside backer spot. Playing special teams. Lays to boom to free him up. To get it out to pass the 25. So again, here comes Rob McCoy Jr. Yeah, well, especially with they moved the ball at the end of the half. For Jonathan Bennett and company, to me, it's get the ball out in open space. We saw Billups on the outside break a ton of tackles. I think for the Citadel, no time to panic yet. But to your point, there is added extra emphasis of going, let's go just put a productive drive together. Go find an end zone. See what the Bulldogs do here on first down. Bennett is going to hand the ball off. That's Ibrahim getting his first carry of the second half. Picks up maybe two. They've already seen for play. New added elements, too, of adjustments in the offseason in the college football landscape. Obviously, with that two minute warning and, and those headset mics inside. Bennett airing it out downfield, and it is hauled in. What a catch by Dervon Pez. Mike Luongo, our UFC aficionado, a new father. Congratulations to Mike and his incredible family. But I guess I saw it through the lens incorrectly. Huge, huge lift. From the simple ones. They can't take advantage of it now. Getting the carry this time is Ibrahim again. Only picks up a touchdown for the Bulldogs after a 29-yard completion to Pez now. Bennett's pass is going to sail out of bounds. Brings up second say, Keep it across the pond. This morning was all about game day and the boys in, in Aggie land. You see Pat McAfee nearly got a hit with the cannon on game day? <laughs> yeah, I did see that. Did you see he donated a million dollars in the NIL or the West Virginia? Mm -hmm. It's fair to say college football is a little bit different than it may have been a decade ago. What do you think of saving on the desk there at game day? Uh, the pro's pro anywhere he goes. Bennett evades the rush. Gonna step up, still on his feet, finally brought down. Wallace is gonna swing it out. And Siobhan Graves back, Phillips, excuse me. He'll shuffle around, pick it up about Marco Tapa. Is not gonna bring down that 235 pound horse of a quarterback. Citadel moving the ball, Cooper Wallace gets the pitch. He's gonna turn the corner, he's got the first down. Gets hammered, out. Bennett with Wallace to his right. Wallace up the middle, still on his feet. Uh -oh. First and goal from the one. Bennett pushes the pile forward. He's in. Touchdown. Factor for the Bulldogs tonight. So the Bulldogs will go for two. Bennett's going to roll to his right. Has a man, and it is incomplete. He forces Charles Southern to punt. Little Brown, who's got a cannon average of about 42 yards per punt a year ago. Can he flip the field for the Bucs? Gardenia said he has all the trust in the world in Brown. So it takes a Citadel bounce. It'll be down about the 28-yard line. And the Citadel going back to work here. It's the broil jar, in case you do <laughs> yeah. start saying it here. No swearing on TV. I really like my job. 
First and 10, Cooper Wallace gets the carry, able to find his seam, pick up about four yards. Slow and methodical. Let's get the Cooper Wallace quarter. We saw this is just picking up four or five yards a pop. And it looks like the Bulldogs are gonna go a little hurry up here. Amari Jenkins made the tackle on Wallace that last play. Bennett gives to Wallace again, finds a seam, and he has brought down. And who else again? But the Timberland product, South Carolina. Amari Jenkins was by far the most impressive player on that field that night. Played both sides, linebacker and running back. And tonight he has made sure that they have felt his impact at that Mike spot. On third and short, Bennett going to keep it himself and take a graceful slide around the 40, and that will move the chain. Bennett going to air it out now. Going towards the sideline. There's Pets now. He's got it. Porter knocking on the door again. Bennett to Wallace. Wallace gobbled up. Joshua Hill, the first one in there. Could he be a dude that all of a sudden can kind of make a big time play and flip that momentum? Flip that momentum. Bennett keeps it himself, picks up four yards. The flag comes in from behind. Players along the Citadel offensive line. Jockeying for position at the end of the play. A pancake that goes on for just a bit too long as Devontae. Bennett scrambles to his right, doesn't have anything, throws it up. You see Charleston Southern with that 4 3 spread out. Look for the, for the middle. Bennett, Charleston Southern really gets away with one. Bennett sets up the screen, has his man, slips a tackle, still on his feet and brought down just short of the goal line. Crawford gets the carry, plunges forward, and he's in. Touchdown, Bull. As the Texas quarterback legend once said, are we back? The Citadel Bulldogs, how about the resiliency of this? They did not convert the two-point try on their last touchdown. We'll see what they draw up here. Bennett keeps it himself. And he is stopped short once again. Looks like Steve Zajakowski was there on the tackle, and that is how the third quarter comes to a close. Your score, Charles and Southern 21, the Citadel 15. Buckle up, folks. The fourth quarter is coming up. All morning long, I hit their money's worth because the kid has remained so calm, cool, and collected here in that third quarter. Leon Thomas on the return, finds a seam, and Braylon Knott to retrieve the punt. So after a promising start to the third quarter, the Buccaneers have stalled out their last two offensive series. The skill score here, they could take the lead. Boomy, punt. Knott is going to touch it, and he feels it. And that's going to be a safety. Or is that a touch? We have not gotten a signal. Did not get a hand on that ball. They're going to deliberate. Here. Does not touch the ball. Now, you made a good point, Jack. Yeah. His reaction says everything. Then another great camera angle from Michael Wong upstairs, and that scissor left it to me. The reaction said everything, right? If it does kick off. That's Garrison Johnson, the Northwestern State running back, checking it for the first time tonight. He'll get the carry and he'll get the first down. Gloves as a running back. Doesn't it? Oh, he tapes his fingers at least. Nah, don't need it. Longest yard style. Bennett back to pass, swings it out to Ibrahim. Ibrahim takes a couple of knocks. Comes up about a yard short of the first down. First on the tackle there, Steve. That's a Wowski. That two running back set is proven to be really good. Up here showing pressure. Bennett keeps it, avoids the tackle, spins and picks up the first down. They bring the nickel down and Dave Young Williams slowly dwindled down, milking it a bit, all the while moving forward. Little 
end around. It's with Phillips Graves, and he will football last year. It's a clip over four and a half a game. That's the uh, third penalty on the Citadel. CSU has three of their own as well. First and 15 from the 25-yard line. Bennett gives to Wallace. Wallace gets back the penalty yardage. Makes it about second and nine. A six-yard pickup. Second nine again. Do they go back to Phillips, right? Is this a position where is it a jet sweep? We've seen that end around. They potentially take the lead here with a touchdown. Ball is on the ground. It is recovered by the Buccaneers. Chandler Perry falls on top of it in a huge swing of momentum for the Buccaneers. How about that turnover, Shelly? Disaster sent for the drive. Never had it. It looked like it was going to be a direct snap. That's Mike Bartolucci went straight for Cooper Wallace. Since this game has been Citadel's miss one as well, thus forcing them to go for the two-point conversion twice. Ibrahim again. Stays on his feet and lunges forward for an extra yard or two. Now here's the question, right? Do you trust your defense two timer? Charleston Southern, four down line. Let's see if they break pressure. Force Bennett to escape the pocket. Bennett rolls right. Can't find anything. Scrambles. Picks up the ball. Is out. <laughs> Bennett took a shot. Watch this play. This is 6'2", 240 running across the middle of the field. But watch the football. The fear is that it's going to go through the end zone immediately. Bennett plows forward. And he stood up. That defensive line for the Buccaneers stands tall. It's a great push up from Ron Davis to stuff the quarterback sneak. And here's what I'm looking at. Two early timeouts in the third quarter. Charleston Southern can't stop the clock. They're going to run this play three more times. Right. If I'm the cigarette. No need to rest around if you're Maurice Trade or something like that. Just he doesn't have the time as well. Second attempt, Bennett plowing forward. Is he in? From the referee. And he is short. The defensive, the defensive line does it again. We wait, we build suspense. Let's run it back, folks. I'm telling you, I'm running two more times. But I'm on the symbol of allowing this to leak down to this new two-minute timeout. Slide. Bennett under center. 